Ah, let's see what is going on, Leo. Much is going on. Here we go. Ah, Six of Swords moving forward. Yeah, you are definitely seeing a new pathway forward. Uh, you know, you've been enlightened by the moon's energy, and now you see a lot clearer. And it's like you're being guided by your intuition now. You're really understanding your emotions, and you're allowing yourself to be more emotionally available, right? So I feel uh, you are really going to listen to the insight and to your heart and be open to those emotions to really give your heart to someone and that is really i feel going to be important for you leos give your heart believe in this joy and believe that it is a special connection for those who really are ready to make that commitment in love here leo let me pull another card here in love also pull a romance angel card too so yeah spiritual growth this is and it's in the ninth house this is a very spiritual love vibration coming to you through this rebirth uh you're climbing to a higher level of love and it's a very spiritual love and so yes be blessed leos for those who are finding this new love coming to you uh working on you know really establishing a, a new beginning for you leo in love it looks like you're going to have that um you know this is I, I feel some of you are finding maybe this energy uh you know it may be someone um very different from you and it could be from a different culture a different land a different country you could also have met this uh connection through traveling or um through um higher education um but there's something that you have connected very karmically sy synchronistically and it's bringing you to this emotional connection to where you really are feeling love and you really are feeling on top of the world here so and it's really giving you this big rebirth here leo so wow i love that it's beautiful to see so lots of love going on there leo and uh, let me just pull one more card oh and then i was going to pull a romance angel card uh, also for you leos in love here love emotions yeah i see a lot of water here a lot of water so this may have month that you're going to be you know being connected to water and you may be enjoying yourself uh, by the water uh, or it could be a very strong connection to a water energy a scorpio cancer or pisces here but i feel it's going to be long lasting you know the lilies here are saying it's going to be a long lasting mature type of love uh, that you can really move forward in and you, you, it's being illuminated by the the moon it, you know the moon has been guiding you to this uh, love and cherish it now enjoy it know that it has came from the universe from god so uh, yes let's pull another card here leo one more card for love um here we go huh look at that you got the magician it's a new beginning you are ready to transform and change and start a rebirth right that is about you being uh the magician starting all over having rebirth knowing that you are really creating your own desires creating this magical new beginning for yourself need i need, need i say more uh leo you are managing creating envisioning um and really uh seeing yourself at the top of that mountain that's what the magician does he sees his vision he knows that he can get to the top he has all his tools and resources and magical elements that he needs to get to that top and there he is so uh yes I, I, there's nothing more to say in love but i will pull a romance angel card but it really is saying leo you are moving forward and you have really matured wound through your life lessons and tests and love and now it's time for you to create the magic that you want and love and that's what you get that's what you get so work on those relationships that are, are really important to you and have faith that this is for you now to be emotionally fulfilled so let's see here free yourself so you know this is the strong connection 
to the eighth house of this transformation and this this rebirth that you're going and it is time to get take control back over your life you are going through a huge transformation this is about your freeing yourself you are definitely leaving uh, the past behind and allowing yourself for this new magical new beginning and seeing yourself at a new mountain seeing yourself climb to new horizons and i just love that because it is time for you to really take control back and there's no stopping you now because it's your new rebirth it's your new you're older, you're mature, so you know how to handle this birth. You know how to be the magician because you're a lot older and wiser now. So you know how to use those powers uh, more effectively because Saturn surely has, and Pluto surely, certainly has in your eighth house has made you more mature, made you think about the things that you need to do to resurrect your soul, to make changes, uh, and to make you more focused on them. So... <coughs> excuse me make the effort now you're freeing yourself <coughs> so make the effort i was going to get some tea here sorry getting so excited for you uh, leo's in love here but it says make the effort you know it is about freeing yourself making transformation there you go make the effort leo make the effort for love and this is why you have Jupiter in your seventh house. If you're ready for commitment, if you're ready for love and marriage, then make the effort to work on those special relationships because that's what you have. You have a special blessing um, this year to make the effort to have great love. So that's a beautiful blessing right there. So let's go into... Um, Maybe some challenges um, that you may be facing uh, with the karmic energy of Saturn and Pluto being your eighth house. So let's focus to see, Leo, if there's any challenges, anything karmically that you're going to have to face, some type of test, especially in the eighth house of transformation changes. Um, let's see here. Let's, And it could be about you waiting to receive some type of you know, receiving something of value from others, you know, it looks like you may have been waiting, maybe that's what you've been waiting to get to the top, waiting for others um, to help you grow and uh, <clears throat> give you some type of monetary help so that's what i feel in the eighth house it's also about you receiving help through others and, and receiving some type of assistance um that may help you have this rebirth right to help you get to the ascent to the top so yeah i feel there may be some help from others coming to you leo uh it could be also inheritance tax um you're working hard and receiving more because uh, of your hard work. You know, Jupiter in your seventh house is receiving more clients too, receiving more business. So there could be a lot more money coming to you because of clients and business and your work growing. So yeah, promotion, uh, advancement, something given to you that's transforming and changing for you, Leo. So let's see here. Let's look at any type of challenge. Well, the chariot. So the challenge really is about, I feel, the changes that may be happening within the family, about maybe moving forward. Again, you know, that's what the Six of Swords saying, you know, move forward. It's time to move forward. Uh, there's no more blockages. You know how to get to this mountain now, and you can ascend there. You have the chariot. You can actually just fly up there now with the chariot. You can take a boat. You can, you know, um, I don't know if you can take a boat up a mountain, but I guess you can use the chariot to fly up there. But no, it really is to say your challenge is not to stay stagnant. It really is allowing yourself to get through a change. And also, you know, what the charity is, this connection to family. And so I'm seeing something with, you know, maybe receiving something from a family situation, a family member, something with the family uh, happening here. 
So let's see here. It also could be, let me see here. It also could be maybe, uh, you've got, um, a full moon in Libra in the fifth house at the end of the month. So that could be this transformation and change because of, you know, love and romance and children. Maybe this is about, you know, you making a big change about what your family looks like. Maybe here, Leo, this may be, um, wow, something to do. It also could be with children, you know, um, Rebirth, birth, right? So that's what I'm feeling. Uh, home, look at this. So yeah, some of you are moving in. I feel this is like a huge transformation in love and you're moving in, you're working on a relationship, you're ready for this commitment. You're freeing yourself from the past and you're making an effort to ascend, to to move forward, to start a new beginning. Uh, you feel really powerful uh, of this rebirth and some of you really feel a very special connection to love. That's when I'm feeling a huge, it also can be a connection to something going on in the family, in, you know, the home and receiving something, uh, through uh, the family. And like I said, I feel it has to do with maybe some type of inheritance, something that's owed to you. Uh, but it's also maybe something about you working in the home, working in the home to grow your business. Um, but I feel there's something that is coming to you through your home, through your business, uh, through family, um, but it also could be a leading you to this rebirth because you are connecting to maybe bringing a family together. Um, I feel some of you may be connecting to someone who already has a family or you may have children already and it's like coming together, being responsible because you do have a lot happening in your set, your 10th house here, Leo, this month. And the 10th house is your responsibilities, uh, a change in your status, uh, meaning you may decide to change your living conditions change and, and be committed and, you know, have some type of marriage proposal moving to the next level there. Um, but it's also about you really focusing on your career, your destiny and being, uh, more, um, being more of a person of status, right? People are really seeing who you are. You're demonstrating your ability, your confidence, uh, and, uh, being really, uh, intuitive and open to your feelings and your dreams because it is in Pisces. So let's pull um, a card here in the sun's energy, the self position, but we also have Mercury in your 10th house, which is going to be retrograde uh, pretty much for the whole month of um, March here, Leo. So just be aware of your communication uh, with others, maybe around uh, those that you, you know, connect with at work. Um, but I feel if there's some type of change that you're wanting to make with your destiny, it's really important to just be aware of your communication, be aware of what's being offered to you. Because with Mercury in retrograde and Neptune also being in Pisces, there's going to be maybe some, be some confusion, some miscommunication, something that you may be not sure of that there may be some type of wonderful rebirth, a, a promotion, an advancement, a change, an offer. Because also the chart card is like moving home. That could be it too. Moving your, moving home, moving into another country, another state, uh, moving somewhere else to start a rebirth, start a home because you're, you may be receiving some type of offer, Leo, to have some type of uh, success, you know, going into the next level, being more someone who's going to have more responsibility because of your, what you have demonstrated as a leader, your confidence. Yeah. I feel a lot of you are really growing, um, what you're doing, your business. And a lot of you are seeing your own ideas come through 
too. Being responsible for your own destiny and really fulfilling them through your own actions. So some of you may be really starting your own business, making maybe making a life change about maybe doing something in your home, starting your own business. That's what I'm seeing there too. Uh, maybe starting a family business. But I feel a lot of you Leos are really being empowered by really wanting to have your own success and be more responsible about your own ability to grow your own prosperity here so and i feel that it's because you're receiving a lot of insight and a lot of powerful motivational understanding through the universe through maybe those that you connect with um synchronistic moments and uh things happening around you leo to understand uh what you have to do you know uh and that's what pisces is pisces is it's that that you know feeling that you just know is around you and, and things happen because you are you know so synergized and connected to um, that um, vibration of the universe you know so it's really trusting in that um, that knowledge of what you feel here Leo so let me see I'm rambling on there I just uh, hopefully that made sense or I have no idea why I went through that there but anyway let's focus here Leo on a card for just yourself here, Leo, on the 10th house, your power, your responsibility, your success, what you need to be aware of, um, uh, the Nine of Pentacles. So, you know, again, with the Nine of Pentacles, I see this, for some of you, you're wanting to grow your own success, be on your own, and that's really what the Nine of Pentacles is saying. Some of you are really wanting to start your own business, really grow your own status, and be your own power of authority and so a lot of you are thinking about making a huge change uh and i feel it's because you have these magical abilities you have gifts and um and uh abilities to really create you know and uh really you know see your visions through here so you know this is going to be powerful for you this month leo to believe in your own independence and if it's about you freeing yourself right because you do have the free yourself card it's about freeing yourself being independent going your own way uh having faith rebirth ascent make your own mountain go up to your own yeah i i just feel this is about some of you are feeling really and that's why neptune neptune right we have neptune in your 10th house there's confusion right there's confusion confusion about what direction you want to go i feel a lot of you are wanting to grow and prosper you have some type of idea with the magician you have some type you know and the magician is this connection to the aquarius right it's like you have this you've discovered some type of genus idea maybe for some of you leos and you're deciding on whether or not to believe in your intuition believe in this but i feel because mercury is going to be in retrograde you're confused and neptune being in there uh you may want to just wait out this month to make sure you know this is what i need to do this is the pathway this is the rebirth because i feel this rebirth is coming but it looks like there may be some emotional confusion or you need to still get some parts grounded i feel this could be a, again i feel some of you are moving i feel some of you are like you know taking off and uh you know setting anchor towards you know some other like yeah you've got your boat here and you're taking off and you've got your swords you're heading in some type of new direction here to be this magician right uh because of your maturity there's a lot of a lot of you who have really um grown it's like you have really been thinking about the abilities that you have within yourself to create and it's like now is the right time for you to bring out this genius idea to really experiment with your visions here uh it's like you've been waiting a long time it, it's like you're ripe you're ready for this rebirth it's time to get to the top of that mountain make the effort now uh that's what i'm feeling yeah this is the time of the month too really you know make some 
strong decisions about your independence and what you want to do moving forward. A lot of you are really thinking out of the box, thinking how you're going to have this rebirth. It's, it's really a great time for you to free yourself. A lot of us are trying to free ourselves, right, from the structures. And that's why you've got Capricorn in your eighth house uh, and Saturn, Pluto. That it means you are breaking, breaking down and restructuring your whole life and what you think about and tapping into your own insights and your own visions and what you believe in and moving forward on your own faith moving forward on what you really feel deeply with inside you a lot of you i'm feeling are going to be really helping others like i feel you're going to be you know, connected to the 8th and 12th house, uh, helping others through charity or being like the magician, having healing powers, uh, having magical powers to help others through the occult, through your spiritual knowledge, through uh, what you know intuitively and psychically coming through you. Uh, you may be a big channeler, you know, coming through and receiving a lot of insight from uh, the universe. So yeah, I saw a lot of you, Leo, is just really opening up to a lot of this spiritual um, understanding and psychic ability that maybe uh, if you hadn't gone through these last couple years with these eclipses, you may not have been ready for this rebirth. You may not have been ready for this new um, ascent to some type of new mountain that you are climbing to and will reach, it seems like, this month here. 